the first thing that we have to look at is gut barrier integrity. Our first line of defense from microplastics is our gut barrier integrity. Now, that does not stop us from what we breathe. That does not stop things like that in our skin. We're seeing all this water, skin, you know, what we breathe. But at least orally ingested plastics, when you take a sip of water or these nanoplastics, which are the things that are practically undetectable until they accumulate within our body. Okay, we need them moving through the system and we need them to not absorb. So gut barrier integrity. A couple of things that you can do to increase sort of the, the health of that gut mucosal layer so that plastics don't absorb as much. Collagen, bone broth, okay? These things are really important. Glutamine, now I know people have concerns with glutamine because it can fuel certain cancer cells and things like that. That is less of a concern, believe it or not, as long as you are supplementing just an adequate amount of glutamine to be able to protect the gut. You don't need much, a couple grams per day, maybe even five grams every other day, especially if you're active.